Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to another video. Today, I have a question for you. Where are you focusing your energy? Energy is the true currency and really the only and most valuable currency that we have as human beings, as souls, as is now being proved by quantum physics, everything is energy. That we are nothing but subatomic particles spinning at an incredibly fast rate to create this illusion, this thing we call matter. Everything is energy. So my question again for you is, where are you focusing your energy? What happens when a problem arises in your life? When something unfortunate, or not even unfortunate, something, anything happens in your life? If there's a problem that comes up at work, do you dwell on the problem? Or do you immediately shift your mindset and focus your energy thinking, what's the solution? So when something happens that's unfortunate that bothers you, somebody triggers you, cuts you off, you get some weird gossip or I don't know, whatever it is that distracts you and tries to lower your vibration, do you allow yourself to focus your energy and dwell on whatever's trying to bring you down or whatever the problem is? Or do you again transmute that energy and refocus it to a more positive place? Personal example, that may help illuminate the situation because sometimes it's easier to understand and talk about these things when it's not directed at us directly. So personal example for me is I had this woman at work who was extremely unhappy, a guest that came in and I was taking care of her and the kitchen was really backed up for context. I work at a really high end uh, steakhouse and the kitchen was crazy backed up like I've never seen it so backed up before it was wild and she was extremely upset and she was really, you know, just like letting me have this is the worst service. Oh my gosh, this is the, you know, I've never had experienced this in my life and just going nuts. And I just looked at her and I, I had done all I could, right? It was out of my hands is in the, from the kitchen. The kitchen was backed up so the food wasn't coming out. So she's upset. So I said, you know, I just I miss, I'm doing all I can and it's out of my hands, there's no excuses, I take full responsibility, what can I do to make it better? That's really all you can do. And then afterwards, I had a choice, right? She was super negative, throwing a lot of negative energy on me. I had a choice. Am I going to let her bring me down and feel bad about myself, or am I going to take a higher perspective and focus my energy on a more constructive perspective on how to do this? So the choice I had was, oh, I'm, a, I'm terrible at my job, I suck, uh, this lady is right, blah, 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 and go down that whole victimhood. That's just not me at this point at all. Or I understand that she was upset, she had every right to be, I did everything I could, I'm at peace with, with what the situation was, and I did everything I could, so I will focus and move forward with my life and just let it go. So different perspective, right? Something comes up, I always say there's two types of people, the types of people that come up with problems and the types of people that focus on solutions. So as I often do a personal training example, since I had a career in fitness for a long time, I would talk to people about their eating habits. And I would say, you know, we'd talk about their eating habits and behavior changes and things that are really gonna help them get the body they want. That's what they're hiring me to do. And my job is to come up with solutions that fit each individual to help them meet their fitness goal. And so we would talk about you know, why it's important to make sure that you're eating enough for some people. Some people eat too much, some people don't eat enough actually. And people would say, you know, oh, it's just so hard for me to eat really well because I have young kids so I have to cook for them. And so I would come up and so they'd give me a problem and I'd say, okay, great. Can you make yourself something a little bit healthier while you make the rest of the family meals or since your kids, you know, or can you just make healthier family meals? Well, I can't do that because my kids are so picky. And so I would say, okay, if they're really picky, is there a way that you can both at the same time make something that they like that they'll enjoy and eat and something that'll also be healthier for you? Well, yeah, but it takes too much time. 
And I'd say, okay, well, is there a way that you can learn to be more efficient and organized so that you can be efficient in your cooking and it doesn't take any more time than it needs to? Well, yeah, but I, I can't because then I get off work. So we would just go down this rabbit hole of him or her and her in this example. And of course, it, I'm just, this is a sake of example. You know, she, every solution I would give her, she would give me a problem. And so what that tells me is that she really didn't want to change. She wasn't willing to do the necessary things because every problem she gave me, I gave her a solution and I would talk to her in detail about the solutions. And would she execute or would she not? No, because she didn't want to change. So again, are you focusing your energy on the problem or are you focusing on the solutions? So it's a perspective shift. Where are you focusing on your energy? If we talk about law of attraction, if we talk about how everything is energy, what you focus on goes, grows. What you place your attention on, your energy is focused on that. What you continuously, consistently focus on is what you continue to attract in your life. So if you consistently focus on all the problems, well, guess what? Are you attracting solutions into your life and making your life easier? Or are you just attracting more problems? You're attracting more problems. Because again, the more energy you put into something, the bigger it, the bigger it gets, excuse me. So where are you focusing your energy? Are you focusing your energy where it needs to go? Or are you focusing your energy on every other place except for where it needs to go? You've wanted to start this side business and you still have a full-time job, but you haven't put any energy towards the side business and you've given all these reasons and problems why you can't start the side business, but yet you still binge on Netflix or go out every weekend and go out with your friends and you go, you know, well, I need that stuff. I gotta still do that. I gotta have fun, right? You know, I gotta still blow out the seam. No, you don't. Those are the behaviors that you're used to. That is the lifestyle that you were used to that's habitual. And what's going to be required of you is to let go of your old habits and behaviors. You want a new life. So you've got to become a new person. And that new person won't have time, at least in the beginning, while you're building this. Eventually, you can do some things that you want. But you have got to focus all of your energy. Are you focusing your energy? You know, you have a hard week at work and you're exhausted and you need to blow off steam. So you go out with your friends or go out and there's nothing wrong going and please don't take this out of context. I need you to have balance in your life. Yes, we all do. But you're gonna have to be unbalanced for a period of time. Let go of everything, the old beliefs and behaviors, ways of being that you were and refocus your energy. So that energy that you would go out with your friends on, you need to focus that energy on resting so that you have extra energy so you can refocus that rested energy on the side projects you wanna build. And doing this consistently over time will create what you want. If you're in that hypothetical situation of, I wanna build a side business so I can work for myself, but I still have a day job and a family and all this stuff, or just a day job and I wanna do this thing. Point being is, where's your energy going? Where are you focusing your energy, your thoughts? First of all, where are you focusing your mind? Are you focusing it on the positive aspects on your life? Are you consistently focusing on the vision of the future that you want to create and building? Are you consistently focusing on solutions and behavior changes? Or are you still telling yourself the same old stories of, oh, well, I can't do that and I've got to do that because this and this and this and still making excuses for yourself. There's nothing wrong if you are, but you know the saying, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, it's insanity. If you're doing the same things, you're just gonna get the same things. Nothing's gonna change. So where are you focusing your energy? Your energy is the only currency. Money is energy, and you know this. So if you want to bring more money into your life, but your energy is still focused in the same way, doing the same things, you're not going to bring more money into your life because your energy is just focused on repeating the same patterns. So are you focusing your energy on creating new patterns, new habits, new solutions? Are you focusing your energy on learning the skills you need that, that will bring you more money? Are you focusing your energy on going out and say you're a realtor and you're, you wanna sell more houses? Are you focusing on networking more so you can create more contacts? Are you focusing on learning how to market and brand yourself in a better way? Are you focusing how to be 
better in your negotiation skills? Are you reading books on that? Are you watching videos? Are you, are you focusing your energy on having better communication skills and understanding sales? See what I'm saying? Or are you just sitting here going like, oh God, you know, Bob gets all the deals because Bob is this and focusing your energy on complaining and about how Bob is having all the sales, but you're not focusing your energy to improve your own sales skills and network so you can be as good at or better as Bob in real estate sales. See what I'm saying? So examples, where are you focusing your energy? Refocus your energy and when you can focus it in a powerful way consistently over time, you are transforming, you're becoming a new person. There's a military tactic, it's written in The Art of War, written by, I think it's Sun Tzu, yeah, Sun, it's Sun Tzu, The Art of War, yeah. And the, actually, it's funny, I looked it up, uh, it's called Concentration of Fire. I haven't read this book in a long time, but for some reason it came to my mind when I wanted to talk about focus of energy, so, or concentration of force. So the idea of concentration of force is just that, directing your energy at the right thing. Concentration of force refers to a military strategy where a commander gathers and focuses the majority of their available combat power at a specific point on the battlefield, aiming to overwhelm a smaller portion of the enemy force and achieve a decisive victory by creating a significant disparity in strength at that location. You have got to have extreme concentration of force on your manifestations, on your goals, on the skills you need to learn, on the behaviors and the habits you need to improve, on concentration of force of releasing the old behaviors and people that aren't serving you, concentration of force on visualizing and feeling and understanding what that vision is. You are becoming a new person. That's what this is about. That's what my whole channel is about. It's about transformation. You've got to rise to the occasion and when you're too tired, you rest and you recover and concentrate and focus your energy on becoming that version of yourself over and over and over and over again. And little by little, just like getting in shape, all of a sudden your muscles start changing. All of a sudden you're not short of breath anymore. All of a sudden you're less stressed. All of a sudden you're stronger. All of a sudden your clothes fit different. All of a sudden you're making more money. All of a sudden you're attracting new opportunities that weren't available. All of a sudden you are way more attracted to the opposite sex because you wanna date more. Your behaviors are changing. Your concentration of force, your concentration of energy is the key to your success. So the two quotes I wrote down for you today, the secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. That's from Socrates. The second one, very simple, Tony Robbins, which I'm actually going to uh, this time next month, actually, I will have just be returning from Tony Robbins in New Jersey. Anyways, if you're going to Tony Robbins in New Jersey, let me know, I'd love to meet up with you. So that's on November 13th to the 19th, I believe. But I've had this plan for a while with one of my old buddies, but I digress. Quote from him, where focus goes, energy flows. So what are you focusing your energy on? What are you directed on? On the positive, on the solutions, or on the problems and the negative? Are you focused on the victim of, oh, she's that way because blah, 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 blah? Or are you saying, no, how can I be like that? What do I need to change within myself and become aware of so that I can be better and produce the results I want in my life? Where are you focusing your energy? Concentration of force. That's what I have for you guys today. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.